<laughs> yeah, adapting to change on the fly. So, yes, I would love to share with you those PowerPoint visuals that I spent months and days and hours and weeks developing. Well, that's not totally true. <laughs> but in any case, they are a nice slide. But more important is the message. And so it's the message that I'm going to share with you today. In the introduction, you heard that the purpose of this is in fulfillment of a task that I have called high performance leadership, which is a project driven activity that helps you identify your leadership flaws or how to improve on those. And there's certain skill sets along the way. As your division A governor, I took it upon myself to say, what project could I create that would provide that level of training for me, but also achieve some good for the club and for the district and for the area? So with that, I identified an idea called um, what we're known at in our division now. It's called District 4, the Beacon of Excellence. And it's with that that I've developed a value statement, a vision statement, and a voyage that I'm going to walk you through today. Let me share with you the vision statement. The vision statement very clearly defined as a, a one-sentence kind of mission, kind of gives you that high-level view of what we want to accomplish within our division. And that is to drive the beacon of excellence throughout the division by establishing Division A, which you are all a part of, as a distinguished division by April 14, 2011, which is next April, basically. I've defined a mission that, again, I'm hoping that all of us will adapt. And that mission is, is to have a 50% attainment of all what's known as Distinguished Club of Program Objectives accomplished by April 14, 2011. And to be recognized as the top 20, in, within the top 25% or within the first quartile of that particular district, which is again District 4, of which we're a part of. For those of you who are newer with the club or our, our visitor today, we have within my division, the Division A, which we're all a part of, we have 24 clubs. And within the district, there's, I don't recall the number, but Carl probably knows it by heart. 220 or so. 220 <laughs> or so. But who's but counting? Who's counting? <laughs> So our goal is again to be in that top 25% down. In order to do that, we've got to have some core values. And I think the core values uh, are both my own, but I'd like to say that they are all of ours. And that is to establish the beacon of excellence theme with, with and that philosophy within the district. Make sure you're all thinking along those lines. Giving back as a Toastmaster when called upon. The, art of Toastmasters and the mission of this club and the mission of every club in Toastmasters is that it's a shared team effort. You give and you receive. You receive much more in the beginning than you're in a position to give. But over time, we want to make sure that you're on that delivery end as well. So it's again, I like to think of it as an emotional bank account. You make deposits, you make withdrawals. But you always want to make sure that you've got more deposits in there than withdrawals. Lead by example. We should all lead by example. We shouldn't be scurrying around for a speaker every meeting or two. We need to support the area as needed. So when the area is having a contest, each one of us volunteers to help with those contest results. And of course, the Distinguished Club Program, as I mentioned, it's that beacon of excellence it's the metrics in which we gauge our success. Each club has 10 metrics. They're all identified here. They're the same for every club. And we want you to all work towards them. Not because it gets you the little ribbon, which we've got so many of as a distinguished 
President's Club, but because it fulfills the mission of Toastmasters and your own particular value. You receive much more than you give by accomplishing these objectives. So again, today the core value is to establish the beacon of excellence, to lead by example, to support the areas needed, and of course to honor the metrics and to achieve the metrics as established in the DCP program. And my goals and our goals and our area's goals is to establish the beacon of excellence theme and more importantly the philosophy for the district to ensure that all the area governors achieve that distinguished status for their areas to ensure that 50 percent of those objectives are achieved by April 14 and I'd like to see our officers trained at the 70th percentile. That's harder and more, <coughs> it's a larger number than is needed to accomplish DCP. But I think all officers ought to be trained. Personally, I'd set the stage at 100%, but I know there's extenuating circumstances and we can't all make all the training. So 70%, I believe, is, is an acceptable level. I'd like to also see us establish two new clubs in the area, and I think we're on our way to doing that. And last but not least, I want to see the area and the division and, of course, the district grow its membership by 5%. Now, why do I want to all do that? Because, again, the Distinguished Club Program, it's not a matter of the metrics. It's not about getting the data into TI. It's not about achieving your CC for your personal growth. It's about everything, which is, again, that mission. What we call the mission or the beacon of light. It is to ensure that each and every one of us receives that beacon over time. Today I'm going to award these to the best Toastmaster of the day and, of course, the best speaker of the day. And our best Toastmaster is well known <laughs> to us all. But once we identify it, the... Uh, best uh, evaluator, et cetera, we'll, we'll pass on a few more of these. And over time, we're going to make this theme something that we can all live with and, more importantly, follow, adapt, and adhere to. Thank you very much.